guys, it's your girl Christina. Welcome back to my channel with the new video. If this is your first time stopping by, hello, welcome to the crazy world of me. And if you are a returning subscriber, hey, how have y'all been? What has been going on? And thank you for tuning into this new video. So today's video is going to be a review of LA Colors makeup. I'm going to just give y'all my little opinion on it and everything like that. So enough of my rambling. Buckle in, get yourself a snack, something to drink, and let's jump right into the video. So, like I said in the intro, today's video is going to be me doing a review on LA Colors makeup. You can get most of their makeup at Family Dollar, Dollar Tree, wherever, basically. So I have it split into three categories. I have face, eyes, and then lips. And I'm going to just talk about each product and give you my opinion on it. So let's get right into it. So first thing I'm going to talk about is the LA Colors Face Primer. This is what it looks like. And this I personally don't like. I've used all these products a fair amount of times. This I use twice. And I just don't like it. I really don't like it. Like I said, I used it twice. It feels too silicone-y. And I just don't like how that feels on my skin. Um... I don't like how it feels. That's what the applicator itself looks like. And yeah, I just don't like it. I don't like silicone type primers. So this is a pass for me. And I thought it was weird. It doesn't tell you the ingredients on it like anything else kind of would. So yeah, this face primer is a hard pass for me. I don't like it just because I don't like how it feels on my skin. So yeah, this is a no. Next thing is the LA Colors Setting Spray. Um, I've used this a couple um, times as well. And I'm not too sure how I feel about it. Um, it is a very small bottle. I don't remember the prices of everything. But I will have all these products in the description bar. And everything like that. But this is just their setting spray. It's cute. It's very small. Um, smell wise, this does have a very weird smell um yeah i can't describe the smell but like i said i will have to get some more use out of this and actually use it a couple more times but so far i really don't have a problem with it but like i said this i do have to use some more times and actually wear it out to see how i like it but so far no complaints next is the la colors strobing illuminating powder in champagne and if you go okay and so the next one is the la colors strobing illuminating powder in champagne and if you guys didn't see my makeup favorites video i'll have it up here on a little card and in the description bar so y'all can check it out but this highlighter i really do like this highlighter it's very 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 shiny it was only a couple dollars and it works very very well so i do like this i recommend it and when i run out of this i will buy another one next is the la colors mineral pressed powder in fair can you see that fair well either way it's in fair um this i can't mm, i like it it does its job because i don't wear foundation so i can't really put this to the test like that but i really just use this wherever i'm doing contour and highlighting so this i like um that's what it looks like. I like it. It does the job. I'm not too picky when it comes to makeup because I barely ever wear it. But this, I do like. This, I have the same feeling about the setting spray. I'll have to use it more to get a more, um, to get a more, a better feel for it. But so far, I do like it. So that was all I have for the face products because they didn't have well i didn't pick up a lot of their other ones so then now we can get into the eye products so first i don't have an eyeshadow primer from them because i didn't buy it so we're just gonna go into eyeliner this is the la colors auto eyeliner in black 
And this eyeliner I really, really like. Um, I've bought this a couple times. It is, it is retractable. This is one of my newer ones, so it's still full. I really do like this eyeliner. It gets the job done. I do pencil eyeliner because my hand is not steady enough to do liquid. So I do pencil and I like it. It does the job. Like I said, I'm not picky when it comes to makeup like that. I'm really not. So this does the job. I really like it. If you want a good pencil that's cheap and it's black. Let me see. I'll put it on my hand. So I just broke the eyeliner. <laughs> oh my God. Y'all see what happened? I opened it. And it broke. See what happens when I try to do stuff for y'all? This is what happens. Anyway. That's what it looks like. So I feel like it's pretty black for a pencil. But yeah, this I like and I will buy again. I think this is like the second one I have. So yeah, I really do like the eyeliner. Their mascara. Now, like I keep saying, I'm not picky when it comes to makeup. But with mascara... I'm not picky either, but I want it to actually look like there's something on my lashes. And this doesn't do it for me. It's the LA Colors Boom Tastic Volumizing Mascara in Black. I really only got it because it was pink, and pink's my favorite color. But yeah, so that's what it looks like. It feels like there's nothing in here. Like it already feels empty, and I only use it like maybe two or three times. That's what the actual mascara wand looks like um yeah this i'm not gonna buy again i'm probably not even gonna use this anymore to be honest because it doesn't i can't tell that it's doing anything to my lashes like that and i have other mascaras that i like a little more so this i will not buy again next is the la colors iced pigment powder in glam and these and glam this is a purple as you can tell from the lid and maybe from the actual jar it is purple i got this because i wanted to try it out but i don't know how to use loose pigment eyeshadows so yeah it has a little sifter that's what it looks like i'm gonna try to get some on my hand and try to just or better yet let me get some from the lid and put it there so this is a pretty color. That's what it looks like. Um, it's pretty. But like I said, I'm I'm not familiar with you. You that can't get my words together. I'm not familiar with using loose pigments like this on my eyes. But of the time I did use it, it was very, very pretty. I just need to get more familiar with it. So I do like these. And I will probably get it again. Not too sure. But like I said, same thing with the setting spray and the pressed powder. I'll have to use it some more. But so far, I do really like those. And then for eyeshadow palettes themselves, I have three. So I have the LA Colors Nude Eyeshadow in Bear It All. This, I really do like this. I had one of these a while ago, but the colors were a little different. This, I really do like. It's small. It has all the colors you will need, basically, for a simple little eye. I really, really like this. Um, I have no complaints with their eyeshadows for the most part. But this, I really do like, and I really do recommend that one. Next is the LA Colors Eyeshadow in glamorous and this one i got because i thought the colors were gonna be good not i don't like every color in here and i haven't used every color in here but some of these colors i don't like like this blue color it's pretty but it doesn't look anything like it does in the pan um We'll do this black right here. That's the black. It doesn't look as dark as it looks in the pan. 
So that's the blue, and then this finger is the black, obviously. But yeah, this eyeshadow palette, I don't really use it all too much. I really only use it for this little shimmer color. But I will probably try to use this a little more just so I can see how the other colors actually work. But this isn't a palette I grab a lot. But I'll try to give it more. I'll try to use it more and see how I feel about it. But I have to get a napkin. But so far, I'm not a fan of this one. And then this one is also the LA Colors eyeshadow in Chic. So that's what this one looks like. And then it's in Chic, if it'll focus, which it doesn't, but it's okay. This one I just don't like. I don't, I don't like this one at all. I feel like these colors are not good. Um, yeah, I just don't like this. I don't. I dropped my napkin. I don't like how any of these colors really look. That's just four of them. So my pinky is this little purple color. My ring finger is this color right here. My middle finger is this color. And my index finger is this silver. Um, I just don't like how these colors look. Excuse me for a minute. Okay, I'm back. Had to get my napkin because it fell. But I don't like none of these colors. I don't even use this anymore. So I don't recommend getting this one. I just don't. I don't like it. It's that simple. I just don't like it. So that was everything for the eyes. And lastly, we have the lips. So this is the LA Colors Lip Gloss Matte. It's just like a nudie color. My best friend got this for me. It came in like a little tumbler. And it had like three colors in it. Um, It's a pretty, pretty color. That's what it looks like. It's a pretty color, but I don't... I, I've come to learn I don't like matte lipsticks. Because they dry my lips out way, way too much. And, I'm, and if I can remember correctly, this did the same thing. It dried my lips out too much, but it wasn't too bad. So this I do like. I don't grab it a lot, but it's not as bad as other ones. So I I like this one. It, it It's good. This one is also the LA Colors Matte Liquid Lip Color in Vixen. So that's what that one looks like. And it is in vixen will it focus for me focus nope okay this isn't vixen this one i don't like at all that's what the applicator for that one looks like i don't like it for one the applicator is really not how can i do this it's not it's not flimsy it's really really stiff and i don't like that and then this one right here is the one, this one's Vixen, the one I just showed. That one dries my lips out so bad. I don't like it. I don't like this at all. I tried putting lip gloss on top of it and it still doesn't work. So this I don't like. I don't recommend. Um, if you guys got any ideas of some better matte liquid lipsticks, leave it in the comments. If you got any ideas to try to help it, help me make these lip matte liquid lipsticks work, let me know. But... So far, I don't like this one at all. This one, the lip gloss matte or whatever it's called, this one doesn't dry my lips out as bad as this one does. So I can deal with this one. This one, I just don't like at all. Next is the LA Colors Metal to the Max Metallic Lip Gloss in Lumi. This is actually a really, really pretty, pretty lip gloss. I like it. The applicator is just the typical lip gloss one. This is actually really, really pretty. It looks intense on my hand, but when you actually put it on, it is not that intense. Like, it doesn't look like that on the lips if you don't apply too much. If you put a lot of this on, I feel like your lips are going to look pretty crazy. But if you just do like a real light coat of this, it's going to look fine. So I actually really, really like this one. And lastly is the LA Colors Also Shiny Lip Color in Beam. 
So this is what it looks like. And it's in Beam. I don't know why I keep trying to show y'all the name when I know it's not going to show. So it looks like a little lipstick, chapstick type of concoction. Um, let's see. So this one is actually quite... I don't... I don't think I actually used this one before, but that's the color of it. It's like a rosy pink. Um, I think I used this one time, and I think I actually liked it, and it didn't show that much color on my lips. So I think this is kind of a good little chapstick type of thing if you want like a light wash of color. But if you go over your lips enough, I'm pretty sure your lips will look that color. But other than that, I actually really, really like this. So, yeah, you guys, that was everything from LA Colors that I liked and that I didn't like. Um, so, yeah, if you like more videos like this where I give you guys my opinion on stuff, give it a big thumbs up. Leave it in the comments down below if you want me to do more makeup or beauty videos. Leave some comments down below if you tried any of these products did they work for you did they not work for you and also leave in the comments down below some tips on some stuff for like these matte liquid lipsticks leave me some comments down below on what you do to try to help it so it's not as drying um yeah i was trying to see the ingredients if it said like alcohol or something on it but it doesn't anyway but yeah leave some comments down below and try to help your girl out. Do you guys like exfoliate your lips right before you put it on? And do you like exfoliate, moisturize, and then put it on? Because if you do, that's too much and I'm not going to do it. But yeah, anyway, leave me comments down below on what you guys do to try to help the li the matte lipsticks not be so drying. And if you guys don't do nothing, it might just be the formula. But anyway, leave that in the comments down below. And if you haven't already... I'm going to need you to hit that subscribe button so you can be a part of this crazy family because I know you want to be. I know you do because if you didn't, you wouldn't be watching every single video I post. So just go ahead and hit that subscribe button and while you're at it, hit that post bell notification and make sure you turn it on so you'll be notified every time I upload and you can be the first person to share it, watch it, like it, and leave a comment. Make sure you show everybody these videos. And yeah, thank you guys so, so much for watching. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Mwah. Bye.